all of the problems from these videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link, and you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I upload to YouTube. In fact, on the website, there are over a hundred extra videos that I haven't uploaded to YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. Okay, let's get started with the problem. In this video, we're gonna to learn to prepare a manufacturing overhead budget. Take a look at problem 85A. So again, all of our budgets are linking and I'm hoping you're seeing that uh, flow, right? In the last video, 84, we prepared a direct labor budget. Now we're preparing an overhead budget and this one is based on labor hours. And, and look at that. So this would stem right from our labor budget. We would just take that number and we'd say, okay, that's going to drive our overhead budget also. This is a fairly straightforward budget. So it says plural ink budgets direct labor hours for the first quarter as follows and there's our company's direct labor hours budget the company's variable overhead rate is 10 bucks an hour uh, the company's fixed overhead is hundred thousand dollars a month this number includes depreciation of twenty five thousand dollars hmm all right prepare the company's overhead budget for the quarter well again this is a, a fairly straightforward budget let's title it plural Inc uh this is in manufacturing overhead budget and this is for the quarter ended march 31st okay so again we've got january february march and for the quarter And our starting point is the direct labor hours that are given. So our direct labor hours were 75, 80, and 95. And adding it all together, we end up at 250,000 direct labor hours budgeted for the quarter. Now remember how overhead works, right? We apply it based on some driver, and in this case, we're saying labor is what we think is gonna drive our overhead, so when we're estimating our overhead, why don't we do it based on our labor hours? And we've said our overhead rate is 10 bucks an hour. So we're gonna multiply by that times $10 per hour. And we're going to compute our variable overhead cost. And it's $750,000 for quarter one, $800,000 for quarter two, $950,000 for quarter three, and $2.5 million for the quarter. So not quarter one, two, three, for January, February, and March. I was saying quarter one, two, three, but of course I meant the months. Um, the company's fixed overhead is 100 grand a month. So our total overhead then, 750 plus 100 is 850, 800 plus 100 is 900, 950 plus 100 is 1050, and 2.5 million plus 300,000 is 2.8 million, and that would normally be it. That's our overhead budget, right? We've budgeted our overhead. But why did they tell us about this depreciation? Like, what is that all about? And here's why you will get told about depreciation frequently. So when we're preparing these budgets, not only is it important to figure out what our expenses are and what our costs are, it's really important to keep track of money, 
We want to know how much money is flowing in and out of our company. So whenever they give you depreciation, just keep in mind depreciation never involves money, right? When I do a depreciation journal entry, it's always debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation. It's to keep track of the fact that our assets slowly lose value over time. My car is depreciating right now. I don't put tape money to my car to record that it's depreciating. Uh, so it never involves money. So something we're always interested though with these budgets is just keeping track of our money. So let's figure out uh, the amount of cash we paid or we're expecting to pay for overhead. And how do we do that? We deduct depreciation. We say, look, let's just take depreciation out of the equation and figure out the cash paid for overhead. Now, I would not expect people to know this the first kick at the can because it didn't ask for it specifically. So how could you know what to do with the overhead? And the answer is, well, look, if you've done a lot of budgeting, you'd be very interested in, in cash flows at the same time. So that's why we do it here. All right, so there we have it. Dollar signs across the bottom. We've already got dollar signs up towards the top there. So we're good to go. At this point, we've got ourselves a good manufacturing overhead budget. And we've even, I mean, this could be the bottom line if, if I kind of didn't know better, but this is often what we're looking for, how much cash flowed out the door as a result of our overhead. And the big reason is that a lot of the companies, they're just worried about running out of money, right? If they run out of money, they're dead. So they really wanna track where they're going to be spending their money. And here's how Plural Inc. is gonna spend its money on overhead. Stay tuned for the next one.